H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, rubber syllabus. One-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Worked most of my time with Informatica. I'm a certified Informatica consultant, so I know a lot of Informatica stuff. What is happening and what is there? What is um, uh, what is upcoming plan and all? Um, but this is. Um, but right now I'm working on more of a data architect where I do give the design and to the developers and they do that de development. Okay. So that's uh, uh, about myself at a very high level. Now I would go for a roundtable, very quick roundtable to know about my audience, and then I'll come to come in details about uh, what is Informatica, and then details about the training, what we are going to learn in the training. Okay. So to start with, John, would you like to speak, John? Uh, in case if you are not comfortable speaking or if you do not have a mic, for, um, so you can and write in the chat window that way also I will have your information and that will help me to drive the uh, demo. Okay. John, uh, okay, no problem, John. Um, Deepika, would you like to speak? Deepika? Yeah. Yes, sir. Can you uh, hear like, Yeah, we can hear you. Yes, sir. Hi, this is Deepika, sir. Sir, I, um, actually, I, I, choose, I choose to learn ETL among, I mean, after my lot of research, I came to know that uh, Informatica is having a good boost, so I opted for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine, but do you have any IT background, uh, IT experience, or IT education? Yes, sir. I did my uh, in engineering bachelor's in information technology. Okay, and then so that means you understand the basic uh, basic um, uh, database concepts, right? Yep, sir. I, and I had the privilege of learning Oracle also, so, so I just know okay, some that's concepts. Good. That's good. Okay, so uh, Deepika, let's do one thing. Let me go through that uh, demo, and then uh, I'll try to answer all your questions. Actually, basically, I try to address all your questions, and at the end of the session, if you still have a question, let me know, okay? Yep, sir. Okay. Hey, uh, Benita, I'm very sorry. No, I, I I addressed you wrongly. So would you like to speak, Benita? Would you like to speak? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. I'm sorry, really, I, I addressed you wrongly, I'm very sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. So, oh. yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm a master, I'm a master in computer applications, so uh, just I want to know what is really going on with ETL. I learned a little bit, so I see what's going on, and later on I will decide whether to go for the course or not. And then why do you, why do you want to learn Informatica? What is the reason for it? Um, I heard that there is a market for this too. Even my husband works at um, software and PC for work at and in fact. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Got it. So, um, uh, let's uh, just follow the demo. I'll try to give, provide as much as information possible. And then okay. after that, if you still have questions, let me know, okay? Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, Bender. Uh, Bender, would you like to speak? Bender? Yeah, please tell me. Yeah, no, uh, Bender, I think you joined a little late. So what we are doing is uh, we are doing a quick roundtable and try. I'm just trying to understand um, my audience, and, uh, like what kind of IT, uh, like whether do you at all have any IT background or not? Do you have any IT experience or not? And do you understand the? Okay, so let's continue, Bender. I think you might you might want to be. Uh, Reconnect and then see if the voice is better. Okay. 
Uh, let's go. Uh, let's continue. Uh, Deepika, or from Dinesh. Dinesh, would you like to sit? Dinesh. Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. So yeah, I, I just want to yeah, type some messages. I just typed some messages. Uh, were you able to see that? Uh, no, I cannot see your message. I just hit send. I don't know. It, it looks like it got disappeared. So I'm from non-IT, but mm -hmm. I've been working as a manual tester for like a year and a half. But as okay. for my super skills are concerned, like they are like, um, like, like I'm just a uh, you can say a startup in SQL. Like, do I work on manual? Okay. But just a startup. Okay, that, okay. So you know the basics, right? Then. Uh, like uh, basic uh, in the sense like very very basic like select uh, where and order by command like okay, not okay, up to okay. Just okay. select so, where and order by command that's and it. Then, and then why do you want to learn informatica? Like um, like I've been trying jobs in manual but nowadays like there are more kind of jobs in uh, EPL, informatica, BI and uh, Automation tool. So just wanted to enhance my skill skill set. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Thank you, Dinesh. Thank you. I I'll actually try to tell you the people. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll come to that. Just let me just quickly finish the round table. Okay. Uh, Mudra, would you like to speak? Mudra. No, okay. Uh, uh, Rupa. Rupa, would you like to speak? Yes, you said my name right. Yes, yes. So my question, so I'm just trying to understand and what kind of, um, uh, do you have any IT background or IT experience? Uh, do you understand the basic database concepts or not? And then um, do you, uh, and then the reason you are here, like the reason you want to learn informatica. Yeah, I am from the IT background. I've worked in software development uh, years ago. Uh, so basically, okay. I worked in all levels of SDLC. And as far as I understand, uh, Informatica ETL is it's used for data mapping to extract data from one database and populate another database. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, I've worked with a lot of relational databases, uh, SQL and all that. Um, okay. But as far as Informatica, that's the buzzword, um, and ETL, just want to add that to my job skills. Okay, that's man, that's good. I'll actually, um, this, I'll try to uh, help you with like, uh, uh, more information. I'll try to provide more information in this uh, demo, which will actually help you to take a decision. Okay. Uh, let me know if, you, if the, all, all your questions are not answered by the end of this uh, demo, okay? Okay. Thank you. Um, Salman, would you like to speak? Salman? No? Okay. Um, Swati, would you like to speak? Yes, my name is Swati. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I'm in the IT background, but I've not worked until now. Okay. I learned about the QA. But I want okay. to in the ETL, that's why I'm joining the Informatica class. Okay, okay. So basically, are you also looking for ETL testing kind of job? Yes, okay. ETL testing. So, um, yeah, this training will help you. I'll come to that part later on, okay? And then we have uh, Usha. Usha, would you like to speak? Hi, my name is Usha. I have an mm -hmm. IT background and I have attended ETL classes, so I want to uh, check this out also. It may help me to. Uh, okay, so, so, so did, you, did you say that you already have an ETL experience? Uh, I don't have ETL experience. Okay, but, but uh, other, other kind of experience, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's fine. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's see if this uh, this demo helps you or not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's just start the demo now. So I have a fair idea about my audience now. So I'm just going to start the demo. 
So um, we are trying to understand here what is Informatica, first thing, and then I will give a details about how I am going to take that uh, training, okay? But to understand what is Informatica, Informatica is basically a tool, okay? So there are a lot of other tools uh, for different other technologies in available. So similarly, Informatica is a tool for ETL. Now, ETL is basically a process, right? So it, ETL stands for Extract, Transform, and Load. So Extract means means uh, you extract the data from um, a range of sources, so a variety of sources, a variety of applications, then you transform the data as per the business logic, and then what you do is you load the data into a data mart or a data warehouse. So that is a process. It's an ETL process. So this ETL is a process. Now, to implement this process, different companies develop different tools. So Informatica is one of such tools. Data Stage is such a tool. Um, SSIS is such a tool. Uh, Abinitio is such a tool. So there are there are quite a few in um, uh, ETL tools that are available in the market. Now the good part of Informatica is that um, around I would say 60 to 65 percent of the market is uh, captured by Informatica. So if 100 people are using uh, any ETL tool, so out of 100 people, 65 to 60 to 65 people are using Informatica. So the chances of getting a job, uh, uh, yeah, Sweta, just hold on your questions. Let me finish the demo and then I'll come back to your questions, okay? So the chances of getting a job in Informatica is higher. Now try to understand a few things here, right? Mm, because you're going to learn a tool, um, let's understand what that tool does, and then why do I at all need a tool, such kind of tool in uh, in like in any company, right? Now, uh, so as I told you, so, uh, it it just stands for extract, transform, load, where extraction is done from not a single source, a uh, multiple sources. Uh, when I'm saying multiple sources, it's not like multiple Oracle database, no. When I'm saying multiple sources means uh, maybe one source is Oracle, one is uh, DB2, one is mainframe, one is SAP, one is Salesforce, one is flat file, one is XML, one is Excel, one is um, some other file format, CSV. So basically data are available in different formats, in different area, in different structure. Okay, I am have to read those data for a reason process those data as per the business logic and load the data into a data mark. So for example, okay, um, and let's just, for example, uh, I'm just trying to tell you a user case which will help you to understand more of why that kind of situation at all arises in a company, okay? So let's think of this. Um, uh, you want to uh, take a Verizon connection. So you want to take a new, you, you want to, and right now you are using maybe T-Mobile and then you want to switch from T-Mobile to Verizon. So you want to be a customer of Verizon. Now as a customer, what are the different options through which you can buy a new Verizon connection or in other words, what are the different sales channels through which Verizon is selling his products? So um, you can go to, uh, directly you can go to any of the Verizon store and take a new connection. You can go to Walmart and take a new connection. You can go to Best Buy and take a new connection. You can go to small kiosks or shops in the mall all over, um, um, these, mall, these kiosks or shops are owned by individuals. Um, you can go to them and take a new connection. I um, mean, you can go to Verizon.net and take a new connection. You can go to Amazon.com, take a new connection. You can go to, uh, you can give a call to Verizon customer service and take a new connection. And there might be a few more which I don't know or which I don't recall at this point of time. So maybe there are 15 in different channels to which Verizon is selling his products. Now just think of this. There is a VP or maybe a leadership or maybe manager uh, who wants to uh, see and who's responsible for the profit of this uh, channel, like selling products to different sales channels. So he is uh, one of the uh, those guys who is responsible for uh, generating the profit. 
So what he wants to do is he wants a report every month, every week, and every month he wants to see a report. And this report will tell him that how each of these sales channel is doing, all right? So that means tell me which sales channel has done how much business in last week, or maybe the all the uh, weeks and then all the months in 2015. Okay, so show me in, in the, how each each um, uh, sales channel has done the business. So show me net uh, net transactions, how many total transactions happened, how many. In customers came in and all the details. So I have a, a list of metrics. Show me that metrics. And then on the based on that, he will take a decision. He might say that, okay, you know what, uh, um, this sales channel is not doing good. It's kind of over it for me, uh, for Verizon. So we're going to close down this sales channel and move all the business from this channel to Walmart or Best Buy. Or kind of something like that. So he's going to take the more decisions. Okay? Now, so if he has to take that kind of decision, then all the um, uh, transactions, what happened in, through different sales channels, sales channels every day, that transaction had to flow into Verizon system every day. And then and there would be a reporting team who will generate reports every week. So they will accumulate data all the, every day and then at the end of the week they will generate the report. Now try to understand this. All these different channels, are they using a common system for um, um, selling the product? No. So everyone is using their own own um, system, like system in the sense um, uh, process and the software. So let's say Walmart may or might be using uh, SAP, maybe a, or, um, uh, sales, oh, sorry, maybe Best Buy is using Salesforce, maybe if Verizon is using some Oracle, app, Oracle apps, maybe um, you know, this small boutique, uh, uh, this small uh, kiosk uh, shop are using some boutique software. So basically, if the data captured in these locations are in different format and in different systems altogether. So now what I have to do is I have to bring this data into my Verizon, someplace in Verizon, from where the reports could be generated. Now this someplace in Verizon is called a data mart, okay, where I will bring the data, and I will I'll bring the data, process the data, and store the data in this someplace. This is called your data mart. So what I have to do is now I have to put the ETL process who is capable of reading data from all these different sources, then process the data and load the data into a data mark, and there would be a following reporting team who will generate the reports based on this data marks. All right? Any questions, anyone? No? Okay. No. And so, so this is a more or less all about your Informatica. That's what we are going to learn. So this ETL process, this ETL tool is Informatica. Now, to be very honest with you, ETL, uh, Informatica tool itself is very, very easy to learn. It's more of a drag and drop tool. You do not have to write coding. Uh, no, Sweta, I will come to data migration, and I, I'll answer this question, okay? Just give me a minute. Let me finish the uh, demo, and then I'll come to question answer. So, um, 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 yeah, so ETL, uh, so Informatica the tool itself is very easy to learn. It's more of a drag and drop. You do not have to write code. Like if you're a person who loves coding more like Java and .NET, so maybe you will not love Informatica because you do not have a scope to do a lot of coding here. But if you're a person who don't love coding but you, you work more of concepts and you want to build in, in from the concept, then you will love this tool. Okay. Now, now, um, so let me give a brief about uh, how about how I take this training. So on the first day of the training, what I do is, okay. So this is first step. Once you decide that you are you're gonna take this training, you have to register uh, for this course, and then immediately H2K will uh, help you to install the software. Now this software is a full version of the software which will be in your system 
and which will um, be loaded in your system even by training is over you can still play with the software and so it's, it's a full version of the software it will not expire it will be there okay that's one thing second thing is on the first day of the training what I do is I sit with everyone and we decide on the class timing and the days usually I try to take you know four days a class um, but it depends again uh, on the availability of everyone. So right now, if someone asks me like, what are the days and when would be the class, I cannot tell you. We have to decide on the first day of the class when everyone is here. Um, we uh, we sit together and we try to see when is the, when everyone is available and we take the class. But usually the weekdays classes will be in the evening and weekend classes will be in the morning. Okay. Now this training is more or less around 26 to 28 hours training. I try to cover five hours in a week, and so you can think of it six weeks training. Okay, six weeks training. Um, so and then if you um, in the first class, what I do is I do kind of brush up in your um, um, Oracle and SQL skills and I give you the some of the assignments and show you how to practice your SQL because we don't need SQL from day one but definitely after three weeks we need SQL so if you want to brush up your SQL you have a chance to do it in three weeks okay now during this training I will the way I think this training is during the training I will be showing it. so this training is more of a like 80% to 80 percent hands-on training 15%, 20%, and um, theoretical training. So we will be covering all the theoretical concepts. I'll, I'll show you the detailed course content. Just give me a minute. But these are the high level of the course content. So uh, during the training, what happens is we will. I, I will be showing you all the um, uh, different things, things what you can do in Informatica, and I will record the session. So then. Uh, during the training, I don't expect you to do the things parallelly with me. I want, I expect you to watch me, understand the concepts, and then once the training is done, once the class is over, I will be sending you the videos. Then the expectation is you watch the video, you do the hands-on, whatever I have done in the class. Now, I will be giving you a lot of assignments also, which will help you to build your logic. and. These assignments are uh, created at best, uh, keeping the real-time scenarios in mind. So these assignments will help you. You when you, even uh, like if you can do these assignments, you will not face problem when you are in a project. Okay. So now after this session, and expect an email from me. I'll be sending out the complete course content, the detailed course content. Sorry. The detailed course content, and I'll send out the detailed course content immediately after this training so um, now this training the way I have designed this training this training is very good for someone who is planning to go for an ETL development or basically informatica development kind of job or someone who is planning for uh, ETL testing or informatica testing job so we have a separate module for ETL testing you can see here the ETL testing now the real so this is what you have to understand because as you will be doing um, like big, um, if you take this course and you are planning to go for a testing job then you will be doing an informatica testing in job right so to do the informatica testing you have to know this tool at a high level at least 30 percent 40 percent so you, have, you do not have to go into the development details, but you at least you still you have to know this tool. So that's why I, um, um, uh, it's, uh, this this um, training will help you to know this tool. So you have a chance to go into the development, and at any point of time you feel that okay, no development is too much for me. I don't want to go for the development, or maybe I, I love testing. I have been in testing for a long time. I want to continue with the testing. So you can continue this, this training and you will be uh, ready for the testing job. Okay, so that's the plan. That's that's how I have designed this course. One of the best part of this training is uh, if you take this training and then for some reason at the end of the training you feel that okay, 
if, uh, I couldn't mm, I couldn't get all the concepts or I couldn't finish the, all the uh, assignments. Actually, I need more time. You can take this training again for free, absolutely for free. Okay. Now, now one other thing you know, I'll tell you is at the end of this training, and this is again optional. Okay, at the end of the training, if you want me to help you to prepare your resume, then I I'll, I will be doing a one-to-one -one session with you and helping you to build your resume, and then I can help you to um, uh, get a job also. Okay, so this is uh, more or less all about this training. Now I will go. Uh, now, if you have any questions, feel free to ask the questions. Type the question in the chat window or raise your hand. I'll unmute you. I already saw. I already got so many questions. Let me start answering them. And then, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. Okay. Now, Swetha, I can see you have a question. Um, is data migration same as Ezekiel process? Yes. So data migration for doing a data migration. So let's say I right now I have a legacy data. It's everything in the mainframe, and I'm planning to implement SAP. So uh, you have to move the data from uh, legacy system to SAP. You need an ETL tool, and and that's why uh, that that is another kind of uh, um, project. So usually you will be involved in three category either of these three category of projects either a data migration project or a pure data warehouse project or in a big data project so these are the scopes of your um, etl developer or a tester answer your question sweta how the data is loaded do we need to load the load or it's done by the etl developers um no, uh, okay. So Dinesh, it is done by the ETL tool. So nine, nine, uh, so ETL developer will just design it and run it. It will automatically load the data into the data mart. Now, if you are talking about the tester, you will never do a uh, uh, data loading. What you have to do is you just test it. Whatever is supposed to do and whatever is done, are they same or not? Okay. Uh, tool, okay. Uh, Dinesh, did that answer your question? Uh, Rupa, you have a question. Tool used for data uh, mapping. Um, so, I Informatica is a tool which is used for data mapping. In Informatica Power Center, that's what we are going to learn. That is the tool which is used for data mapping. Does that answer your question, Rupa? Your voice is blurring at the end. Of the sentence. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Uh, sorry, Deepika. Mm. Is ETL and Informatica different tools? And are you going to cover both? Do we need to extensive SQL skills or learn ETL and Okay, no. ETL and Informatica are not a different thing. So that's what I was telling at the beginning. ETL is a process. And this process is implemented through um, Informatica tools. So ETL, we will learn the ETL concepts and we'll see how it is implemented through the tool. So um, the only tool you are going to learn is Informatica Power Center, and that's it. Now, from SQL standpoint, we don't need complex SQLs, we, but we definitely we need the basic SQLs. Like if I say that I am doing a join, you should be able to understand what I'm talking about. I say I'm doing a group by. You should be able to know. Or you should understand what I'm talking about. I say that I'm doing an order by. You should know what I'm talking about, right? So that kind of concepts are required, but nobody is going to come to you and say, "Hey, guy, why did you write a complex SQL for me?" No, that's not going to happen. Um, if you learn Informatica, uh, will it help to learn uh, other? Yes, that's a good question, Deepika. Um, actually, if you learn Informatica and then uh, let's say you work for Informatica two, three years and then you feel, okay, no, I don't want to stick to Informatica, I want to learn to data stage. So any ETL tool is basically the same concept, same kind of transformation. The difference is the tool. The tool itself is different, but everything else would be the same. So what I would say, if you know a tool, any ETL tool, you can switch to other ETL tool. That um, added learning would be 20% to 25%. So you have to learn 25% of that tool. That's it. 75% you already know. Answers your question, Deepika? 
Okay. Uh, Sweta, your question is, can you explain the role of a beta tester in the data migration project? What to check uh, for before the process and after the process? Yeah, that's a good question, uh, Sweta. So now let's just, uh, for example, just to answer your question, I'm just trying to give you a history, right? So let's say you are reading data from a, <clears throat> from a, um, 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 uh, what you call um, um, mainframe. So you are you are migrating data from mainframe to SAP. Okay. So this is what you are doing. Now, what you have to do is, uh, if you have, so definitely you will have access to Oracle tables in SAP. Okay. So that that will be there. Now I'm not sure whether they will give you access to mainframe or not. So in case mainframe access is not there, then what you have to do is, is you have to ask them to send a copy of the data from where you are reading the data. So you check that data, so that is your source data. If they give access to mainframe M tables, then it's fine, you, have to, you can go and see the mainframe data. And then you have access to your uh, Oracle objects in the SAP. So you can query them, and now you have to look into the business rules and see that whether uh, the data is properly loaded into the target or not. That's it. Answer your question, Sweta. And do you teach ETL testing class that is included in the QA training course? Yes, ETL testing is already included here, so that's not a separate course. Okay, any other question, anyone? Okay, um, uh, are you gonna, uh, going to cover the SQL concepts, join, subqueries, is as tested job, um, what should I know in Informatica? What other tool you will give training on apart from Informatica? Okay, so, uh, SQL part, I'll cover the basic concepts, we'll not go in the very details because that's not required and it, this is not a SQL uh, training. So I'll not go in the very details of the uh, SQL queries, but I'll give you the concepts which will help you uh, to understand um, or uh, which will help you to um, uh, do the testing. So that's one part. Second one is your, um, uh, how much do you have to know informatics? So I told you already. Uh, you have to know around 30% of this tool. So you don't, if you, uh, in, for the development part, if you just watch it, you understand, you don't have hands-on, that's also good. But while uh, while um, taking the training, I'll tell you explicitly these are, uh, are for the development. And likely I'll not tell which are for development because everything is for development. I'll tell you explicitly these areas as are for testing. So if you're looking for testing, you should focus on this. So I'll tell that while explaining, I'll explicitly keep on training that and telling that what are, what is what what are the things a tester should focus on. And your last question is what other tool? No, we are not going to learn any other tool. So we will learn only Informatica end to end. That's it. Um, okay, SS is it this this a training is good for Informatica developer as well as Informatica tester. So uh, it 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 uh, doesn't matter whether you want to go for development or testing. This tool is going to help. This course is going to help both. Uh, if you just learn ETL, is that enough for ETL tester? Yes. If you have, you have to know ETL. You have to know SQL basic SQLs so that you can uh, test the data, right? You have to finally uh, fire the query and test the data if it's loading into a database. So yes, and that's it. Uh, what queries can be used to compare the data uh, source uh, versus target after the data migration? No, you cannot write queries. Please, Sweta, you have to understand, this is a manual testing. You cannot just write queries. The reason is the source data is in uh, mainframe and your target data is in um, SAP. So uh, how do you write a query which will, will read both the data and compare? So that 
you cannot do. So that's a manual. So you have to take a few sample and you have to do the manual testing. Does that answer your question, Shweta? Are you going to cover all IP ports of data loading in with volume? Uh, I didn't get the question and and properly. Uh, input ports, input types. So when you say input types, we are going to cover a, a file. We are going to cover database tables which would be Oracle, we are going to cover um, uh, COBOL files, we are going to cover XML files. These are the four categories we are going to cover in this course. Yeah, Snowflake, uh, Star Schema, yes, we are going to cover those. Are you going to cover, okay, yes. No, I don't teach ab initio or Teradata. BI basically, see, BI is business intelligence. Uh, Informatica is also a part of B, business intelligence. So uh, BI is, again, a big space. It's not, there is no tool you can tell, okay, this is a BI. Uh, if I know XYZ, I have learned BI. No, it's, there, it's not, nothing like that. So BI consists of both data warehouse and reporting. That together is BI. Okay, anyone have any other question for me? Um, just to give you an information, uh, I am going to start the batch from first week of December. So if, so that would be next week. So if you are actually planning to take this course, make sure you do it uh, uh, fast because um, we have, I, I, I want to make sure that all the installations are done before you come to the first class. Otherwise what happens is I have seen in the uh, past that uh, class has started and then people are struggling still uh, in installation and you already two or three classes missed out and then you have a backlog of two, three class. So you, uh, I don't like to go to, through such kind of situations. And yes, Data Mart is a component of Data Warehouse. So basically Data Mart, uh, what happens is, let's say I want to build a small data uh, warehouse which will will meet the purpose of sales department. So that is called, and that means that data warehouse will have only the sales data, right? So that kind of data warehouse is called data mart. So basically, if I do a dimensional modeling for a specific business unit in my organization, that is called a data mart. Okay, uh, course fees you have to check with um, uh, H2K. Um, what is the question? How to write efficient query queue? Any tips on that? Are you going to cover as DB will not be normalized? Uh, no, we are not going to cover the efficient queries and DBA things here because that's not the part of that's not the part of this curriculum. We will learn on uh, Informatica and only that part of the database which is required. So, if you are looking for something like query optimization, if you are looking for something PLC twelve node, then this is not the course. Okay, uh, any other question for me? I hope I, I have provided you enough information to take a decision. So just think about it and see if you really want to learn this or not. Uh, what do you want to know, Deepika? I didn't get your question. You want to, uh, you'd like to know about it, about what? So, um, I, if you really, uh, if you have enough information to take a decision, then I would say just take a decision and, 
or my informatica experience yeah i have around see i have total around 15 now around 16 years of experience in data warehouse world i have worked with various etl tool with informatica specifically i have worked around 9 to 10 years with informatica but um, i have also experience with abinitio i have worked with ssis I have worked with a variety of databases, almost all the databases I have worked with. And uh, right now I am more into design, so I give the designs and solutions. And I have a, a team of developers who do, does the actual development. So I do the review of the design and all. No, I am in the US, I am in Dallas. Yes, I, I'll be helping you to build, uh, to um, uh, do your resume, eh? but that is again, as I told, that's optional. If you want to, to me to do that, I can do that, but that would be more of a one-to-one -one session. I'll be sending you the sample resumes. You will work on the first version, and then we will sit together and and um, change the resume, whatever is required, we'll do and um, finish the resume. I will help you. And also, yeah, and we, you will get the support as well. Also, I, I will be helping you to uh, connect people who can um, uh, um, help you to find a job. OK. Um, OK, I think I have to now finish, the class, uh, finish this demo because I have a class starting in um, seven minutes. So um, if you do not have any questions, then I'll just end this session now.